This is the broken OpenFlow demonstration. Let's start with what is OpenFlow. OpenFlow is an open standard which is added as a feature to broken Ethernet switches and routers. OpenFlow separates the data plane and the control plane. OpenFlow is also a part of software defined networking. We have three components for this demonstration. OpenFlow controller, which is the open source OVS controller installed on a Linux server for this demonstration. Next is the OpenFlow enabled Brocade MLX router. And we have a traffic generator, which is the Spiron test center. Let's look at the ports and flows. We have a flow A between traffic generator and Brocade MLX. 10 gig traffic comes on ingress port 1x3 on MLX with tagged VLAN 10 which then gets replicated on egress ports 1x1 and 1x2, also changing the VLANs to VLAN 30 and VLAN 40 respectively. Let's quickly look at the flow A details. For every rule, there is an action. Rule for flow A states, traffic is incoming on port 1x3 with tag for VLAN 20. The action to this rule is forward and replicate this traffic on ports 1 by 1 and 1 by 2, changing the VLANs to 30 and 40 respectively. Here are the demonstration steps we will see during the actual CLI scripting. We go on the broken MLX and do a show open flow. Then we go on the controller and we will push the flow A. After pushing the flow, we will see the actual flow on the broken MLX. And last, we forward traffic to the desired ports using the traffic generator. Before I jump into the actual demonstration, I will go over one of the use cases for OpenFlow. Although this is a simple demonstration, ultimately the objective is to show that powerful network virtualization applications can be supported with OpenFlow on the network. One such example of this application can be found in large-scale service provider or Web 2.0 data centers. These type of data centers have thousands of racks hundreds of thousands of physical servers, and millions of virtual machines helping to deliver applications and services to customers and users distributed across the world. This demanding scale poses a significant management and operational challenge. With OpenFlow, you can now seamlessly control network resources or flows regardless of location, delivering a solution capable of supporting multi-point logical networks with VLAN translation between the sites. For example, you can link physical and virtual servers, local and remote facilities, public and private clouds, and in the end provide a consistent way to visualize, manage, and control the resulting logical network. This is the CLI demonstration of OpenFlow. We talked about three components for this demonstration. Let's look at the first component, which is the broken MLX. The show OpenFlow shows the version number, which is version one for this demo. It also shows the connection mode which is active. This is a TCP connection between MLX and controller. It also shows the controller IP address. MLX supports match capabilities with all fields in Ethernet header and IP header. This command also shows the ports that are enabled for OpenFlow. As you see, the OpenFlow enabled ports here are 1x1, one 1x2, one, one and 1x3. Now let's go to the controller and push the flow. There you go. Now let's go back to the MLX and confirm that the flow is running. As you see, we have one flow. This is the flow A. As we saw in the earlier presentation, for every flow, we have a rule and an action. The rule for this flow A is packet comes in on ingress port 1 by 3 with tag for VLAN 10. The action for this rule is to forward and replicate the traffic to ports 1 by 1 and 1 by 2, also changing the VLANs to VLAN 30 and 40 respectively. We will prove this using a packet capture during the Spiron Test Center demo. Let's go to the Spiron and run some traffic. As you see, flow A is configured for 10 gig with 100% load. Let's go ahead and start the traffic now. Traffic is sent from port 12 by 3 and we see the traffic getting replicated on ports 12 by 1 and 12 by 2. 
Let's go ahead and start a packet capture on port 12 by 2 and see if the VLAN has changed from 10 to VLAN 40 or 30. So we start, we stop, let's go ahead and view the packet. There we go, the VLAN has changed to VLAN 40. To summarize, we saw MLX open flow configuration, we pushed the flow using the controller, and we confirmed using the Spiron test center that the traffic did get replicated and VLAN changed on the egress ports as well. Thank you for viewing the OpenFlow demonstration.